Good morning, gentlemen. In our series of videos on emotion and emotional intelligence, we will talk about emotional episode timeline today. Based upon what Ekman and Dalainama had said about it. Fred Dust had said, when I look back on my knee-jerk reactions, now I realize I should have just taken a, a breath. If that is the case now, gentlemen, uh, the Lanma had also said our focus should be that 7 billion human beings alive today, everyone of whom wants to lead a happy life. Happiness is not entirely dependent on money and material things, but on inner values like compassion without having to rely on religious beliefs. He simply said, just like an electron, when excited to high level, it would like to come back to the ground level. So we all don't want to remain agitated. We all want to remain cool, contented, satisfied. And with this envision, both the gentlemen have uh, taken upon and they have brought out what called atlas of emotions. Okay. <clears throat> And we have already talked about in the last two videos what emotions are. Then last video we talked about what are triggers. Just to recapitulate some of them. Emotions are reactions to stimuli. If there is no stimuli, probably you won't react. But feelings are what we experience as a result of emotion. So emotion first, then feeling. Okay, emotion is normally quite short-lived, but it is intense. Recollect back when you have got angry. Do you remain angry for a very long time? Because you lose a lot of energy by remaining angry in anger, state of anger. Emotion like to have a definite and identifiable, uh, unidenti uh, identifiable cause. There has to be some reason for this. Feelings are influenced by perception of situation. Okay. A mood can reside a temporary emotional state. Temporary, not permanent. So now, if that is the case, we did talk about trigger. Trigger occurs in a concept where some circumstances, current circumstances and feeling, good or bad, there may be certain event which has triggered our uh, emotions or our world view, which is influenced by our prior experience, personal history, and inherited in words of the script about important events. So the personal ideas that you have got it. Maybe suppose you are you got certain idea about uh, politics, what is happening in the country today. And if you read uh, news onto that topic, either we get associated in a positive manner or not so positive manner. You may even get agitated by just looking at those uh, news. So now, once you get triggered, then you get emotion. And the emotional experience is uh, includes maybe there is some subjective feeling. There is certain physical sensation. And these feeling and sensation will color our perception of the situation that is occurring around there. As a result, we all would like to respond in that after having experienced that uh, that that emotion that is available. We have a choice in how we respond. Sometimes it's hard to feel in control of our responses, and we really uh, know act or respond in a very irresponsible manner. And later, you always regret. I've had an experience where a, a lady, because some fight with husband around there, had cut her uh, hand, nerves around there. And suddenly she realized she's doing the wrong thing. And probably she's crying for help me. I want to live. I don't want to die. So it means, though you have responded very negatively in particular situation, it is not necessary you, you would like that. It may be a wrong decision as such. 
Some responses may be constructive and even destructive. When emotion is triggered, we are in a grip of that emotion. Emotion takes control of ourselves. This limits our ability to think clearly and choose how we want to respond. At times, when after some time, after when the time passes, we gain some clarity about what the emotion was, how did I react? And then you start thinking about it. You start talking about was it right or was it not so right? With the awareness, we can pause before we respond to a particular emotional state. So this that's why you must have seen bulk all those all people, senior people, they always tell you you must count 10 before responding. Or when you get angry, count 10. There are chances that your anger will come down. We will talk about it. How does the trigger take place? Because your trigger, in this case, a friend gets angry with you. You get triggered. You feel disgust, emotional state, and then you take action. And so, every trigger will lead you to certain emotional state, and that emotion will lead you to action on that. Okay. Now, we will today, as I said, we will talk about emotional episode timeline. Again, based on the theory of the line Amana Ekman. What we said, every time, every situation in our time, every moment of time is different. And you recollect back the way you uh, respond to your mother, the way you respond to your child, or the day you talk to, water, talk to even your husband or other friends around there. Though you may be talking the same topic, but the condition under which you are talking will not necessarily be seen. 99.999% the way you enter a discussion with anyone or talking, those situations are totally different from what it was in the past. As a result now, we that call that as a precondition. It may be something has happened in my home. I have got a pressure for some work. Maybe I'm getting late for my work as such. Maybe I have not performed really well in my examination. So there are certain conditions which dictates the state in which we enter. And in that state, if I get triggered, which we have talked about yesterday or in the last video, that trigger comes up because of event, certain event that is taking place and also because of our for certain database which we have created in our mind based upon our own worldview. Because of this, this trigger and the condition in which we enter the trigger, we will come back to certain emotional state. As we have talked about, five or six, depending upon the which type of theory you are talking about it, you will enter in a particular emotional state. And this will result in a physical change and psychological change. And this change in physical and psychological change will let you come into what you call action mode. The action you take may be constructive or may be destructive. Depending upon the type of action that you have taken it across, you will come into post-condition state. And then this is the time you start reflecting back what it right what's so or it's not so right. Probably someone, you had a fight with someone and then they collect but that fight was probably uh, I have not responded as aggressively as it, I should have been. What do I do? Probably I say, okay, let me have a second chance. I'll go and sort him. Was it right? No, certainly not. Because the aim is to put out the fire rather than ignite the fire. You are trying to emulate the fire further. You want to create a uh, episode, you are enhancing, you are escalating the episode. So you should really, so this selective filter period should be utilized to come back to state which you really want to come to. Okay, having seen that, so these are all very, they are the total of five states. First is precondition, then second is the trigger, which is given by event, perception, and precondition. Then you enter a particular emotional state, 
which may be physical, resulting physical changes and psychological changes. This in turn will let us, uh, we would do, uh, we would have taken action which may be constructive or destructive. Then I come back to post condition state, that the fifth state. And again, this is the time for me to reflect back and go back into this loop again. So depending upon the how, so the first step, peak condition, I just said, this describes this context or situation which may influence the way we enter the emotion. Are you example, maybe uh, psychological being hungry, tired, not happy. There's something has happened in my home. Emotional, having bad, had a very enjoyable or a stressful day. So they are the precondition which you enter any any emotional state. Then comes event. This describes a person, place, situation, image, thought, memory, smell, sound, taste, idea that we encounter from the outside world or from our own mind. In our uh, in our own uh, Indian tradition earlier, husband was regarded as a god. And many a time we have heard the stories, even if the he will start shouting. So that was his state. That is, that is the event which has certainly changed for a good thing around there. Now both husband and wife are regarded to be equal. We are constantly automatically appraising or assessing our inner, outer and outer world. So depending upon the situation, am I stronger than the, my enemy or am I weaker than the enemy or am I equal to my enemy? So my reaction will depend upon that, that particular situation itself. So when you hear a new song, we instead overlap our knowledge of the past instrument that has played. So this is the event. It may be event. Then we have triggered. We have talked enough about the trigger. This describes the combination of automatic appraisal matching to some universal hardware acquired script or database. See, in, in SSV, we... Uh, in psychological testing, we give what 12 photographs we showed the people, 11 photographs and one blank. We expect people to write a story on that. And the photographs that are being shown, it relates to the day-to-day -day activities, maybe accident, maybe some people fighting, maybe someone in hospital. Based upon your own experience that you had in life, that stimuli which is being shown to you, will take you back to your own database or experience database which you had, which you may or may not have been aware of. And as soon as you see that uh, photograph, then that photograph correlates with the correlation and conversion as you see that, you know, that gets correlated with the past experience. And suddenly that it comes back to your mind now, which you won't have been able to reflect or get back earlier. And then the story which you're writing, they are most often than not, you will write a story of, based upon your past experience only. And now that past experience is again based, as I said, is based on the perception that you have created about uh, yourself, about the world, about the experience that we had. Probably you have asked for certain favor from your friend X, and probably he has not responded. In, so in your database, what has happened? I, even any time I go to that gentleman, he is not at all going to help me at all. So that's what happens. He may not be. Probably the last time when you go, had gone to him asking for favor, after some help, he may have been in a, in a different situation. He may not have been in a position to do help, the help that you were expecting from him. So the perception describes our universal hardware response, our individual acquired emotional memory. So so depending upon the and when the appraised event resembles something our database, it may be highly accurate or would create a distorted perception of the image. And then we start uh, that take the trigger in in stay and based upon the trigger, we come into a certain emotional state. And we have already talked about there can be dip, uh, five or six uh, primary emotions. And mixture of those parameters that give the different types of emotions, huge and no, no, uh, enormous type of emotion that can be created by the combination of the basic 
five or six emotions that we have been talking about. Okay. Now, they, this will result into our physical change. Now, you remember when you get angry, physical change, okay, you start breathing fast. Your heart starts operating. You start shouting. So, we can experience these changes as, as sensation in our body, feeling heat in our face, tightness on jaws and shoulders. You close your face and like probably hit a person. That is what you are trying to do. Then this, this results, this, this, this describes the emotional state itself and includes the physical and psychological changes. Psychological changes are, this uh, results into qualitative experience of the emotion, how sadness feels sad or different, huge, they are not, the different shades of sadness, the emotions are there. So depending upon which shade, how angry were you, and that will take you to the uh, emotion that you are going to face. And finally, it will result into action. This describes our emotional responses. This could be external behavior, such as yelling in anger, or could be internal, such as you you can't shout in front of a your father. Then what did you start brooding? Go back to your mother and say, what my father saying? I'm still a child of what? Why is he shouting at me? He should think before talking to me. That's what he is. Because you couldn't afford to respond at that particular time. And you are brooding. You want to take out. That's called emotional offloading. Emotion, each emotion in the atlas shows the range of immediate action that you take it or that uh, can be taken. And these actions could be constructive or destructive. Constructive now, suppose you had some, your friend has got uh, angry with you. What do you do? Okay, partner, let's forget it. We will not repeat the same thing. That's constructive action. Destructive could be, what have you think that I am a bad person? I have not uh, uh, given you help or probably you think I am wrong. You are wrong. And you start fighting with Annie. You shout. He also shouts. So that becomes a destructive action. So action can be constructive as well as destructive. So now the action which are there, it's like, you no, know, it's like a, a street dog or a trained dog. Look at the street dog. What happens? Even the smallest thing, it starts shouting. It's doing, you know, uh, doing all sorts of activities which is there. Where a trained dog will wait for the right opportunity to pounce upon an individual if he feels that they are wrong. Similarly, we have to take control of our action by thinking about it, whether my actions are right or not. And you must respond in appropriate fashion rather than just creating a problem for self. You go to any, even if I had a fight with anyone, losses to both the person. You may say, I have already sorted, I have hit him. But you will always be, you know, you know, pensive. You will always think about why did I do that? In that least, open it, look at your heart, you'll find you are not, I shouldn't have done it. That is the heart is the almost honest thing in our in our system. So think about it. And as I said, then you go back to post condition, it describes the result of impact of the emotional action. It could be external and it could be internal. If we have yelled at someone, then what will happen? He may also yell at us. And if, if you yell us, again you start yelling at him. And if you suppress the feeling, then I get irritated. I get morose. I can think, why did I do it? So the post condition will lead to our next experience. And this will remain, should I fight with him or should I go away? So you remember the original thinking that human had a fight or flight. If I'm stronger, I'll fight it. If I'm weaker, I'll run away from it. I keep on giving example. You are a student wrong there. Your principal has called you for something that has gone right or wrong. You may be right or may be wrong. I do not know. But once principal is telling something, 99% chance is there. You will try and hold by irrespective of fact you may be right because you don't want your career to be spoiled. So that the situation has changed. So there is going to be interaction between person and the situation and certainly the environment. All these three people keep interacting with each other and the action that we take it is a mixture or outcome of interaction of all these phenomena that a person, situation and the environment.
Okay, so the post condition will lead to our next episode emotion. The post condition is an opportunity for us to build emotional awareness, take corrective measures. Even if I am wrong, I should be able to correct myself through reflection on our emotion to understand the trigger was right or not right. There was no for no need for me to you know uh, act onto that trigger which is there. Identify the experience and consider its impact it had had on you. Would it have a positive impact or a negative impact? And then, based upon this, you go through the selective filter period. Selective filter is, is initiated with the onset of action and signals. Perception is narrowed and distorted. Filtering and interpreting information remain relevant and consistent with the prevailing condition. You remember, in science or in technology, we talk of the three types of filter. We call it low-pass filter, high-pass filter, and band-pass filter. Similarly, it is not necessary. You must really put the right filter in our in our mind, so so that we get the right output. Depending upon situation, you must really think what is the right decision, and the decision, and you should tell yourself this is the way I am going to react in the particular environment, particular situation. So this is the learned display rules to regulate signals. And if you had a misfortune of landing in a problem earlier, so you have learned how to react to particular situation. So you will modify, amplify, or suppress the subjective feeling which arises because of emotion. We do not know how quickly these occurs, but they do occur before signals and action, and for immediately during onset of signals. Impulses are translated into action and signals. That right, gentlemen, this is what we have to talk uh, about the uh, about the filter. What we have to, what we may really again think about it. Let's have a uh, another look at the total. This is the episode. This is what you call episode. Emotional episode timeline. So aim is again if we can understand the. The mechanism of how the emotion, we, how do we get triggered, the emotional state that we come to, and the action that we take it, if we can take control of these particular whole process, which is a continuous feedback, continuous like carbon cycle or nitrogen cycle, we can improve our uh, emotional happiness. We would like to come back to zero state, like an electron. So we must, you all of us would like to be cool, calm, composed. We don't want to be agitated state. Okay, any agitated state takes its own energy. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll come back on emotional intelligence now in next series. Thanks a lot.